For the second time in a month, an employee has been fired for mildly confronting thieves trying to steal. This time, it's a 75-year-old woman in Colorado fired from a Circle K convenience store for having the gall to briefly attempt to stop an armed robber. Surveillance video of the October 2020 incident shows Tyler Wimmer, armed with a knife, walk into a store and ask Marianne Moreno for a pack of cigarettes for free. Moreno says no. Wimmer appears to walk away as if he's going to leave the store, but then turns around, walks behind Moreno, and grabs a pack. Moreno telling a local TV station recently what happened. When he came around that fast, he was, like, right there, and a knife freaked out, you know, and I just went like that. Well, supposedly, I guess I grabbed his arm. I'm, I don't remember that, but I pushed him, and that's when he ran out. Moreno has just sued, saying she was fired a few days after the incident. The company telling her she violated Circle K's don't chase or confront policy when it comes to shoplifters and robbers. She's now suing, and this comes as two Lululemon employees were fired for yelling at thieves stealing merchandise. No, no, no. You can march back out. You can march back out. No, you can march. No, you can march. No. Get out. Get out. Get out. So all seems sort of insane. These people are being fired. Let's check back in with Leland Vittert from News Nation. Batya Unger Sargon. Unger Sargon. We just talked about mispronouncing Fugelsang's name, <laughs> and, and I'm having a lot more, harder time with your name. Um, and John Fugelsang, uh, comedian and host of Tell Me Everything on Sirius XM's Progress Channel. John, are you bo bothered by this? I come to News Nation for stories like this that can <laughs> unite the left and the right equally yeah. in their outrage. I can't believe this woman was fired. I live for stories that can unite conservatives and liberals in this. I, I, I only, the thing I can think is maybe this corporation wanted to unload an employee in their 70s and use this as a cheap <laughs> excuse because there's no decent reason anyone could have ever done this. And I can't wait till next week when she owns that gas station. <laughs> All I think about is Daniel Penny uh, in a case like this. And here's why. Because you are creating a situation where good Samaritans of any type, be it store clerks, the, the, the young Lululemon employees are clearly feeling threatened. Any couple of young women in a store confronted with the video we just saw would be extraordinarily threatened. This woman was threatened. And the, you end up having people who are good Samaritans who step in. That's what the, the way the world works. We're not a police state. But if you want her to have her job back, do you want Daniel Penny to be charged? I don't really think you can call Daniel Penny a good Samaritan based on the Bible we've all read. Uh, the creeping up behind a guy and choking him until he's dead Samaritan, maybe more Daniel Penny. Uh, but uh, seriously, I don't think you can compare the two incidents. It, if she had creeped up behind this man and choked him to death, she but, still would have had more cause than Daniel Penny, all right, so, so, who was so, not defending himself in any way. So, with, with respect. Any others, with so respect. With, with, without, no, no one had been assaulted. I'm so sorry, but well, no one had been assaulted well, on that train. Well, without getting uh, into... You don't, ha you don't have to be touched to be assaulted. Uh, well, I was just going to say, exactly. without getting into the details of everything that happened in the Penny case, there is a comparison to be made about Good Samaritans, right? Which is, there does seem to be a sense in this country increasingly that it's dangerous to be a Good Samaritan. Sure. It can get you in big trouble to be a Good Samaritan. There's not always appreciation always been that way. of Good Samaritan. Well, it, no, feel, it feels it more so like that now. It's a danger to get involved and take a personal risk to help somebody. But, but, but the risk wasn't from the law, though, or from corporations. The risk was a risk that you knew because you were getting involved. Because you could get hurt. I understand. Situation I, you could get hurt. And I totally respect where you're coming from. But in the biblical context, the Good Samaritan would have reached out to the troubled homeless man and said, do you oh, need come something? Oh, no, they according are. to the, the Gospels, oh, okay. you reach out to the troubled, mentally ill homeless man and say, can I help you? That's the Good Samaritan. Roger, quick thought. Um, so first of all, um, what Daniel Penny has said about that, he was actually throwing things at people, which is an assault. Um, I will say, you know, we, one wants to live in a society where the natural feeling that we have when we see something being done that's wrong, that we, we, we have the expectation that you will do something about that, that there's a difference between right and wrong, and that the soul rebels against seeing wrong things. What you Absolutely. see here is um, corporations, the government, um, 
penalizing people for that impulse to stand by the virtuous against the criminal. And that, I think, does, I, I'm sorry, because I, I love your impulse to unite, but I have to say, I think that there is something very alive on the left that has replaced the difference between right and wrong with the difference between the powerful and the powerless. And if you are seen as powerful, you, if you're seen as powerless, if you are homeless, yes. or if you are um, like that young man, doesn't have any money, you immediately get ascribed a level of virtue by this leftist ideology where they're happens? on the side of the have criminals that as thief? opposed to <laughs> the people who are, you know, trying to protect people from criminals. And I, I think that that ideology is very dangerous and it's it's right. very I, alive and well on, on the left. I, I don't think anyone has defended the man trying to steal the cigarettes and no one has defended the man on the subway. They've said it was wrong to murder him. Hey, thank you for watching. Please go to NewsNationNow.com, NewsNationNow.com, and you can find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button down below. Then you will get more of NewsNation's fact-driven coverage.